Hello and welcome to another video about working element in pneumatics. This time we are going to talk about the symbols. Now we talked about how those things are working, how those things do work, and now I show you, summarize all the symbols of the working elements. Basically, we can divide into two parts. So they are linear movement. linear movement. Basic thing is the cylinder we said. So there is single acting cylinder. This is the symbol for a cylinder anyway. Single acting cylinder we said there is a spring inside and there is one connector. Single acting cylinder. Double acting cylinder looks almost the same. Two connectors. Double acting. If we do have, uh, if we do have damping. Yeah. It will look like this. This is now a double acting cylinder and now now it's damped. But only in this direction. Okay? And only in this direction and not adjustable. Another example. This should simply symbolize the damping, damping pistons. Huh? Another example, damping piston here, damping piston here, two damping pistons, yeah? and now pft, this arrow even adjustable. Yeah? This is one sided damping, sided cushioning, not adjustable, this is two sided. Cushioning and even adjustable because like usual with this little error, yeah, not adjustable. And damping and cushioning. Yeah, and then of course there are the the special forms. Yeah. If we have a cylinder without rod, yeah, it will look like this. Yeah. And there be, might be also be cushioned. Okay. And then we have here, for instance, this symbol here, this means magnetic coupling. So this is a rodless cylinder with magnetic coupling from the piston part to the outer part. For instance. And then of course I showed you different things like the tandem cylinder or the cylinder with the with the rod which looks go through the cylinder like this. Basically, the symbols are all very the same. Yeah? So damping, adjustable damping, this would not be adjustable. It's fixed on both sides. And this is magnetic coupling, linear movement. Okay. On the other side, we have rotary movement. We have not even really talked about this. Yeah? So there are also pneumatic motors. Pneumatic motors usually work the same way 
as 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 compressors so they have a pretty pretty similar symbol pneumatic motor for instance looking like this almost like a compressor but this time this arrow goes inside so this is a pneumatic motor With fixed displacement. If I can adjust the displacement, so if I can select somehow how fast this motor is turning with a certain with a certain airflow through it, yeah, then of course it's like here. Yeah? Of course, it's the symbol of the motor. Yeah? And now tuck, now it's adjustable. Uh, adjustable displacement now I can select the speed actually this is what it means yeah however one direction if I can also change the direction of the motor so if the motor can turn left and can turn right the symbol would look like this Now I can go through the motor in either way. Yeah? It will turn left, turn right, doesn't really matter. And now pak, pak, it's even adjustable displacement. Yeah? So this motor can turn left, turn right with different speeds. Okay. And then we also talked about uh, rotary or swivel drives. Yeah? Swivel drives, since they are not full, this is 360, yeah? this can turn. Yeah? To indicate that it's not able to turn fully, a swivel drive usually is only half. The symbol is only half circle. Eh? Here's the axis which will move and then we can move it left, we can move it right, move it right and here are the two connectors. Eh? So this is pneumatic swivel drive. So these are the, the different symbols usually look usually used for working elements. Okay. There are a little bit more symbols, of course. Yeah. So there's like said so the tandem cylinder and so on. However, uh, it should be easy for you to interpret those symbols when seeing them, yeah? because basically they look the same. And if you're not sure what this is, you can always look it up. These are the, more common, the most common ones. Schematic symbols for the working elements. And that's it for working elements. Yeah? Next time we are already talking about control elements. Yeah? So now we have produced our energy, yeah? power production. Yeah? Then we can use the energy and now in between we need something which can switch the energy in a certain way that these things, that this, all these movements, all this work make sense. Yeah? And this is then the control elements. What control elements are there and how they are working in combination with cylinders and so on, we will see during the next few videos. Next time, introduction to control elements. Okay? For this time, Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.